What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today we're going to talk about a missing student named Jay Lee. He's 20 years old, so let's go ahead and get into it. Mm, this is so sad, but you know what? I hope he's found, to be honest with you. Police are searching for a University of Mississippi student who hasn't been seen since Friday. Jimmy J. Lee is 20 years old and was last seen on July 8th at about mm, 5.58, 6 a.m. Leaving Campus Walk Apartments wearing a silver robe or house coat, gold cap, and gray slippers. We believe May, excuse me, we believe Lee may have been visiting someone at Molly Bar Trails prior to going missing. Now, police said that Lee was driving a 2014 black Ford Fusion with a gold racing stripe down the middle of the hood and front bumper. The Ford Fusion with the license plate number J. Lee 1 was found at the Molly Bar Trails apartment complex three days after Lee disappeared. And it also was told, okay? Police said they are using all available resources to track tips, potential witnesses, speaking with friends, running search warrants, canvassing areas, and collecting evidence. Now, the way he was dressed, it was like he was going to see someone that he knew, you know, maybe like a quick little visit, and then come back inside. Because he had on a robe or house coat, slippers, and a cap. So, it's like he was getting ready for bedtime, but he had, maybe he got a text saying to come to the Molly Trails real quick. I don't know what happened in between that time. It has, it's not, you know, said in any articles, but it just seemed like to me, he was going to visit somebody he knew. Okay. Now it says here, we're asking the public again for any tips, information, potential witnesses, or persons of interest of any other information that will lead to Lee being found. And that was in a press release conference. Now, his friend, you know, said that he was really energetic, nice, and friendly. That Lee is someone who talked to anybody. Describing Lee as the life of the party. Real sweet. So, it's just unfortunate something like this has happened so close to home. And somebody could use that, his personality against him. You know what? You just got some sick people out here, period. I do hope he's found safe and unharmed. But his car was sitting out there for a while, for three days. It was told. Where is he? You know? And I hope that the police are definitely looking into the cell phone, asking friends. You know, in situations like this, if even if you have to run to the store, let somebody know where you're going because... Nowadays, you have some weirdos out there. Okay? You have some weirdos out there. And it doesn't matter who you are, what gender you are. When somebody want to harm you or take advantage of you, they are going to do it. But in this case, it's really mysterious because where, do you, where is he? Okay? He wasn't dressed as if he was going to a party. He was dressed as if he was comfortable in his home and maybe he received a text message, went out to the apartment complex. I'm pretty sure he didn't go to visit a stranger. Somebody knew him. He went to go visit somebody he knew. And then you have wicked people out here that will lure you somewhere and let somebody else do something to you. But I don't want to think those thoughts. <clears throat> I just hope he's found and he's not harmed. But I will keep you guys updated. Um, when I know more information about this case, I will let you guys know. But he's a student, 20 years old. That's someone's child. That is someone's sibling. That is someone's loved one. You know, just keep his family in your prayers. And let's, have, let's hope that we have a really good outcome that he's found safe and unharmed, okay? So I don't have much to go on, um, but what they got here in this article. And like I said, if I find out anything more about this case, I would definitely let you know. 
But you know what? I do want to say this before I end this video. Even if you go to the store or if you want to meet with a friend, text someone and let them know where you're going. Always leave a little trail behind you just in case somebody said, well, you know what? I spoke to him last and this is where he said he was going. Or any of your friends or family members. I don't care who they are. It's not that we're trying to keep tabs on you. It's just that we want to know that you're okay. Call me when you get home, friend. Oh, sis, call me when you get home. Text me when you get home. You know, it's just to make people aware that, hey, I'm home, I'm safe, I'm good. I'm, I'm going to hang out with so-and-so. I'll call you later. At least, you know, you're leaving something that if something was to happen, we have it. You get what I'm saying? So, just be mindful of that. Always let someone know where you are going. You know, hell, what you're wearing, okay? If that, what you're wearing, who you are with, because those are things that's important. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, but I'll talk to you guys later. And like I said, if I find out any more about Jay Lee's case, I will let you guys know. Have a good one.